Programming common stimuli. This is a way to make sure that uh, that the behavior will generalize, right? So in our training se sessions, we make sure that the, the training session matches the real world session setting. As training session, training setting, we make sure it matches the real world setting as much as possible in order to encourage generalization and make it easier to generalize in those environments. For example, you've probably seen some videos where I talked about my kiddo learning how to swim. We first tried to teach him how to swim in the backyard. We don't have a pool. Then we put him to the pool and he sank. Uh, luckily, I have a lifeguarding d degree. <laughs> degree? <laughs> Long time ago, I had my lifeguarding certificate. Um, so it's not a degree, though. Anyway, so I <laughs> pulled him right out. Um, <laughs> right? It's a joke, folks. Please don't think I beat my children that way um, or abuse them. Um, it, oh, I, perfect example. It's how they fake the moon landing. They didn't fake a moon landing. At least, it's not, not to my knowledge. I genuinely believe they faked a moon, didn't fake a moon landing. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I have to tell myself that over and over. Uh, no, um, so again, setting in the training environment is as close to the real world as possible. That way behavior generalizes easily. Whoopsh!